everyone welcome to the two-day event at Grand Bend Motorplex hosted by CSCS Racing as you can see I'm checking my times here because I forgot my lap timer day one was the technical layout which myself and most drivers haven't done before it took a while to learn the track and learn my break points and I still think that they quite weren't there in qualifying I managed to do a 115 which is a lot slower than I would expect myself to be, especially given my times compared to other tracks and the other drivers. It should be a lot lower than that. Once the final started, there was a slight delay because Tony, who is a good friend of mine, had a small issue with his car and it shut off right as we began. Once they managed to clear his car up, I did what it did best in the finals, which is push all out, and I ended up pushing a bit too much uh, missing the apex on one of the turns which led to me running wide in the next turn and then breaking too late in the next turn so it just became a chain reaction of mistakes but I still managed to do my best time of a 113.6 and that put me in second place for day one on day two this is the mod layout and of course I've done this twice before so I had a lot more confidence going into day two Sometimes even though you have the confidence, the lap times aren't there. I was hoping to get a lot closer to my personal best of a 56, but for some reason I just couldn't get a proper lap down or I just kept making small mistakes and in qualifying I managed a 58.9. Once the finals began, I was able to go a bit faster and set a 58-0. And that would put me third place in my class, but something happened with the timing system and we had to redo the finals. So of course, I went out there and pushed even harder and even still with making mistakes as usual, I managed a 56-7 on my time, but on the CSCS live timing, it came up as a 57 flat and that put me in second place for day two. All right, and in second place, representing Precision Motorsport, we have Brandon Prasad. Yay! Yeah. 